Here's a question for the structural engineers of the world. If you want to do your bit for climate change, what are you better off doing? Are you better off doing personal things like bringing a keep cup to work or riding your bike instead of driving your car or eating a vegan diet instead of eating a meat steak filled diet? Or instead, is it your career decisions? I'm talking the influence you have as an individual in your career on projects, influencing them to more sustainable outcomes. Or more specifically, upskilling yourself in mass timber so you're ready when this option gets put on the table. And in this video, we're gonna go deep in this topic. We're gonna to show you why structural engineers can be today's champions of sustainability. There is a growing mega trend and clients and architects want to go in the direction of sustainability and mass timber is becoming a proven choice in this field. But for every single project, you have to go and get a structural engineer to say yes and make this thing, this dream become a reality for the client. Now for engineers, by default, we have concrete and steel within the toolkit because that's what's taught at university and the whole industry is set up for that. But mass timber upskilling in this, it's absolutely a choice for every structural engineer out there. And you having this skill in your toolkit along with concrete and steel could be the difference between a lot of projects going ahead in mass timber. Now, what is the impact of this? So we're gonna begin by looking at the impact of one mass timber building and you being the difference in your career just once. And later, we're gonna compare it back to the individual decisions we were talking about. So let's go through some math. All right, we're gonna begin by looking at the saving you can get in embodied carbon from mass timber. Firstly, by looking at the Clean Energy Finance Corporation, this awesome report, opportunities for cutting embodied carbon. And in the report, it showed two projects. One, which was 25 King Street, had a 75% reduction on business as usual, and La Trobe University which is a student accommodation building, had a 74% reduction on business as usual. Both of these numbers, including biogenic carbon, which is a true thing backed up by science. So let's take that to the next step. So we're saving 75% on a mass timber building. Next, we're gonna look at the average embodied carbon within buildings. Now, here we're looking at a practical guide to upfront carbon emissions. This was a report done by the Green Building Council of Australia. And it showed on average, the range of impacts for a, a commercial office building is between 500 and 1000 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per meter squared. So that means on average, let's say there's a 750 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per meter squared. So let's bring these numbers together. So a 75% reduction for timber buildings against the average building of 750 kilograms of CO2 equivalent, we save 562 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per meter squared by specifying a mass timber building compared to a concrete building. So these are rough numbers, of course, per meter squared. Now we're gonna take it up to the building level. So 562.5 kilograms of CO2 per meter squared. Let's say a typical office building is about 5,000 meters squared. Multiply this together, on average for a single typical office building, you're saving about 2,813 ton of CO2 equivalent for this one single project. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. Yes, I do. Now, 2,813 ton. It's a lot of ton, but it's kind of arbitrary when we compare it to our real life decisions. And remember, what we're doing here is comparing our career decisions versus our personal impacts that we can make as a structural engineer. So let's go out and do the comparisons. Firstly, let's look at keep cups. On average, if you bring a keep cup to work instead of saying no to a keep cup and you bring single use plastic, then you're saving 10 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per year. Yes, it's a great decision. Now that's equivalent to 281,000 years of keep cupping versus this one mass timber building we've spoken about. What about choosing to go vegetarian and just giving up all your meat? On average, you're gonna save one ton of CO2 equivalent per year. That's gonna be hard work to give that up. On average, it's about 2,813 years of giving up meat versus this one mass timber building. What about your daily commute, riding to work instead of driving the car? You're saving 4.6 tonne of CO2 equivalent per year. Now that's 612 years of, of riding until you make up one mass timber building. Now finally, what about just being human? Now the carbon emissions from a single human in the developed world is about 17 tonne of CO2 equivalent per year. And if you compare that to a structural engineer being the difference for one mass timber building, 2,813 tonne, 
Now, the difference here is 165 years of being human is equivalent to the saving of this one mass timber building. So in other words, you can offset two lifetimes by you being the difference as a structural engineer for one of these buildings. Yes, we've made some pretty crude numbers in this video and we've made some assumptions around biogenic carbon and things like that, but the point's the same really for structural engineers out there. The decisions you make in your career are very influential and they far outweigh the individual decisions that you can make in your life. We're not saying that every building out there should be timber, that's absolutely ridiculous. What we are saying is that one day a client or an architect is gonna tap you on the shoulder and ask for a sustainable solution. And if you've only got concrete and steel as your skill set, then you're not going to be able to say yes for the timber option and then it might not go ahead. But if you are equipped with all the skill sets, including concrete, steel and mass timber, then right there, you can be the difference in one of these buildings going ahead. And if you do, you can offset perhaps your whole entire life's greenhouse gas emissions in that one single moment. So what we're saying in this video is the number one thing structural engineers can do is have all three tools in the tool kit and right now structural engineers can be today's champions of sustainability.